Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to some more F1 2010 and another part of the ultimate F1 career mode where we are looking to get all the way from F1 2009 up to uh, the newest F1 games. And uh, yeah, we are back with the second race of the season. We are racing in uh, Melbourne this weekend. Her points finished. I'm impressed. She's happy. Impressed, apparently. Um, so we will change our helmet to the Australian flag this weekend. Obviously, first uh, race was in Bahrain. It was pretty good, actually. We finished sixth in the end, just behind Mark Webber. Um, but, you know, performance certainly looking good of the car. Adrian Sutil finishing in the points as well. So hopefully we can continue that good form this weekend as we take on the Melbourne circuit. Uh, we are once again going to go with... Uh, 17 lap race so let's get ourselves into it leave a like if you are enjoying the series so far and of course subscribe for plenty more f1 2010 videos in the build-up to f124 Okay. Obviously the old style Melbourne circuit as well. Let's have a little gander at what we've got going on here. Let's try to better it this weekend. Um so in terms of set well, let's have a quick look at weather. Weather looks fine. Uh all good. Okay. Into the setup. Let's see if uh, I had any saved. Apparently, I do. Let's go for the Australia setup then. And uh, yeah, we will skip straight into qualifying because uh, we have no performance tests to do. Uh, so let's have a quick gander at performance. It's looking like we are possibly the fifth quickest team here. It looked like it's uh, raining there in the background. Uh, quickest there is Sebastian Vettel and Mark Webber. Jensen Button in third. Of course, he won. The real life Australian uh, Grand Prix. Um, yeah, so uh, that was a, a great performance for McLaren. But uh, let's get ourselves into qualifying. We're expected to finish in 10th place. Uh, do we try and get through on the prime tyres? I, I, I don't think that's worth it, to be honest. So let's have a quick uh, look at the setup. Whoops. Yeah, looks like a little bit of. Looks like we've uh, done something to it anyway. Right, uh, let's reduce the fuel in the car and let's get out there for a lap of Melbourne. So let's uh, take you on a lap of the old Melbourne circuit. And see where we can get to with this. Obviously, I think, did we qualify ninth in Bahrain? But, of course, the Bahrain had that midsection where the AI were pretty slow. So I'm not necessarily expecting quite as good a performance this weekend. So you went a little bit wide there, and that is going to be our lap invalidated. So we'll... Slow down, regroup, get the tyres back under temperature, and then we'll go again. Okay, take two then. Let's uh, let's see what we can do this time. Obviously no indication from that first lap how well we were performing. This time we know finish the, the first sector with a bit of a flourish a little bit wide there just about kept all four wheels on the on the track not that time but we did drop off enough so that the stewards didn't penalize us but it's not a great first sector that's for certain well, at least we get through this sector fairly unscathed
Yeah, I really never liked that corner, so I'm, I'm very glad that's not a thing on this track anymore. Yeah, we're going to be about two or three seconds off here, so this is probably only going to be good enough to go 18th. Oh, we got a little bit wide there. Ooh, nearly went spinning. This has not been good. So we're going to have to run again, I think, before the end of this session. But let's see what our benchmark time is. We just don't seem to have enough grip. We'll possibly have to use our front wing flap. Head up to the line. And, well, it's P8. To be fair, it's P8. So... That should be enough to get through to Q2. But, yeah, maybe shows what our pace would be like had we got a perfect lap in there. But we'll return to the garage and we'll see what's what. There you go then, safely through into Q2 in P10. Well, we come round the final corner. It's been a scruffy lap. I'm not sure this is going to be enough. As we head up to the line, it's in the 30s, and it's only P14. That is a very, very poor lap. And, uh, well, Adrian Sutil has out-qualified us. Um, shame that, but, yeah, nah, just a very scruffy lap in the end and uh, not good enough. So we will be starting the race down in 14th. Okay, no interview, so let's head straight into the race. Okay, right, uh, let's head into our race strategy. It's looking like uh, they're wanting us to start on the prime tyres and then finish on the options, go 11 laps on the primes. That sounds okay to me. Um, but yeah, you can see in the teammate challenge, one all now in the uh, qualifying battle. Everything else we are ahead on. So, let's get ourselves into it then. Here comes the race. Car to track. Move it, guys. So, Vettel on pole. Sutil starting in 10th. We are starting in 14th. Expecting something special after your points finish last race. Don't disappoint them, mate. Ready for the lights then. And it's lights out. So here we go here in Australia. It's a very good start. Off the grid quicker than anybody else. We're heading into turn one. Obviously don't want to cause any incidents. But uh, we take it nice and easy and we gain one place through the first corner. Good start. For us, Adrian Sutil remains in 10th place and we take an outside line, a little bit on the grass there, We're holding it with uh, Sebastian Buemi there, and Kobayashi is the next one in front of us. A little bit wide there, but not wide enough to any cause any issues? Come on, we can 
this guy easily. That is Suttle battling with Rubens Barrichello, who That's obviously won the World Championship in F1 2009, trying to have a little look at Suttle there. But now we're right behind Kamui Kobayashi. Can we get any sort of slipstream? It would appear not right. Try and need to try and get a better exit onto the pit straight here and get ourselves past Kamui Kobayashi. But one lap done, and a possible 17. And gain one place. Been too bad. Just struggling to get the car slowed down comes from a lack of rhythm possible chance on Kamui there but came over to defend well nice little run through there Kobayashi ran a little bit wide and we head down the inside that's a good move and we are through on the Sauber and then world champion Rubens Barrichello is next. Run a little bit wide there. That's uh, not going to help us. And in fact, it's going to put us back into the clutches of Kamui Kobayashi, who is right behind us. Ooh, a little bit wide. We'll drop off the accelerator a little bit. To Adrian is a couple of places up on you try and negate any advantage gained there got to remember we're on the, the, the prime tyres here the slower of the two compounds and now this is a great chance a great opportunity on Barrichello but we just don't have enough straight line speed at the moment it's a decent lap though, 133 Point eight. Yes, we are right behind Rubens. And comes over to the inside to defend. It's whether we can pull this off here. Good exit. Possible breaking zone coming up here. Yeah, we go down the inside of Barrichello. Little bit of contact. And Barrichello stays in front. So still P12. This is a possible chance as we head down the inside of Rubens Barrichello. He leaves us room, but still not past him just yet. Oh dear, that's a bit of understeer there. Goodness me, and there goes Kabui. Back through. Yeah, I think this is the chance as we head down into the third corner, but Kamui stays in front. We're just struggling to get the moves done here. A little bit of contact there. A bit of frustration coming out of it. We're through now. feel like we're quicker than these guys but just not quite getting the performance out of the car just 
so much quicker through that corner than anybody else out there. That's a big advantage for us, right? So Barrichello through the next part of the track. Well, this could be a good chance on Rubens Barrichello. We've got the inside line now. Oh, well. Yeah, Barrichello making contact with us there. Feeling like that wasn't entirely our fault. Is Barrichello pitting? No, he's not. So, lap five of this Grand Prix. And we're into the top ten. A couple of people have come into the pit so far. In lap eight of this Grand Prix and we're closing in on Lewis Hamilton here he's uh, just come out of the pits but uh, seemingly on cold tyres and the AI seem to go pretty slow through that corner he is right there obviously he's not really somebody we are racing but we'll go past him because we had the opportunity Web and Vettel leading the race. And we'll see where we get to with all this. Whoa, well, we nearly lost the car again. Luckily, we managed to catch it before it was a, a full spin. Just like in Bahrain, but that would have been a, a bit of a disaster had we spun. We're doing really well. We're keeping pace with Hamilton, so it'll be interesting to see where we come out after all this. If we've been doing leader's pace, perhaps he'll come out in 6th or 7th, but uh, tough to say. Sutil currently down in 13th. I'd be fairly confident that we're going to come out in front of him, but... We'll see. Well, it's about getting a good, good stop here. It's 60 is the uh, speed limit at this Grand Prix. So here we come, round the final corner. Great, nicely. Putting the option tyres on. Exit, exit now. Don't forget to turn the limiter off. And we're away, out in tenth place, and a decent way ahead of our teammates. So into the points. We'll certainly settle for that. Well, we've come out firing on these option tyres and we're already closing in on seven time world champion Michael Schumacher well he almost gets out of the way for us there and we're through up in the ninth place and there's a couple of more guys in front of us I think it's Robert Kubica and Felipe Massa look how much quicker we are See then, right behind Felipe Massa. Adrian is coming to the pits. Adrian in the pits. Adrian on a two-stop strategy. Well, let's see. Wow, Massa went wide there. Oh, yeah. Oh, just about. Just about round the outside. We're through. Okay, P8 now. We've already caught up to Robert Kubica. This is pretty crazy. We're now right behind him. 
don't have any sort of slipstream. Try the old switcheroo. Try and get better acceleration. This is looking good. As we pull to the inside. A bit set. Remains in front for now. This could be another chance, but Kvitsa is uh, defending very, very well here. We want to try and get this as cleanly as we can. It's tricky. More acceleration out the corner there. Already the tyres starting to just wear a little bit. Your engine is getting too hot. Ease off the revs a bit when you can. All this battling is allowing Felipe Massa to come back at us a little bit here. So Sutil in 17th right now. He's out of the points. We are the only hope. To force India to get some points today. We don't want to throw it away by being too aggressive. There goes Kubica again, going quite defensive. Wow, nearly went into the back of Kubica there. We are just so much quicker. This guy's starting to hold us up. Wait for the right moment and take him. That's a good exit from the corner, and now we're going to give ourselves a great chance. But again, goes defensive down the inside. We can't really make the move. Again, going defensive on the inside, but has got to be a great chance. Look how close we are. Look at this. This we pushing him along. Gonna try and get a really good exit out of the final corner here. That's something good. Onto the penultimate lap of this Grand Prix. But look at Massa, he's right there. This has got to be the chance now. Onto the curves, but look at that. All right in this slipstream. And we go down the inside. And we make the corner. And we are through. That's pretty good. We're a place above where we expected to That is huge. Okay. Up to P6, uh, P7 then. Rosberg's next but he's a good 11 seconds ahead of us don't think we're going to catch him by the end of the race but uh, it's going to be a very solid 6 points once again for us and the team it was quite tricky getting past uh, Robert Kubica there but we got past him in the end well we're going to try and push for fastest lap on the final lap of this Grand Prix Looks like seventh is in the bag. And we've closed in on Rosberg a significant amount now that we're in clear air. You can see the pace that we've got. Kubica was very much holding us up. This is something good now. We've had 17 good laps here. Eight tenths of a second quicker in that first sector than our previous best. Which is pretty good. Let's see what we are through the middle sector. Yeah, about the same. Yeah, very good through there. 
Nico Rosberg just 7.5 seconds ahead of us now. You can see Kubica. His tyres are, are, do, are gone. Sebastian Vettel wins the Australian Grand Prix. And we're going to come round the final corner. Going to come across the line in seventh place. Six points. Very, very good. And a very fast lap at the end there. 28.6. We'll very much settle for that. Seven positions gained. Seventh place. Good job. Really good job. Well, there you go then. So, Sebastian Vettel wins. Uh, Mark Webber in second. Lewis Hamilton finishes in third. Fernando Alonso fourth ahead of Jensen Button. In fifth, Nico Rosberg finishes sixth ahead of us in seventh. Kubica eighth, Massa ninth, and Michael Schumacher finishes in P10. Barrichello just outside the points. Um, Sutil down in 17th are the, uh, are the highlights there. Uh, let's have a little look at the Drivers' Championship. Hamilton uh, level on points with Sebastian Vettel on 40. Weber in third there on 28, followed by Alonso on 24 then Massa and then it's a decent gap before us in 6th place Rosberg and Button not too far behind us into the Constructors and Force India currently in 4th place 16 points at the moment uh, same amount of points as Mercedes ok let's uh, come out of it then and we'll see where we are up to Finish 8th, meeting our race objective. Level 4 now. Hey Joe, a point's finished. Keep up the good work. Well, Gabby's happy, isn't she? Which is, uh, which is all that matters to us. Right, let's put on a Malaysian helmet for the next Grand Prix, uh, which is, of course, in Malaysia. Looking forward to that uh, next time out but if you've enjoyed that then give it a massive thumbs up down below subscribe for plenty more uh, ultimate f1 career content and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye